How was the first day? Was it was good. Yeah, it was good. Uh, we had a good uh, two sessions. Uh, I thought the energy was really good. Um, guys seemed very excited. Um, we did uh, a lot of good drills, going back to the uh, routine that uh, uh, we were kind of used to uh, uh, last season, uh, going over some uh, uh, drills that are uh, uh, in the structure of our systems, uh, some battle drills. So, yeah, I, I thought it was a good uh, first day. How, how much challenge is it going to be for the decor in general to start here with you know, two guys obviously on sign? With some other guys battling injuries, it seems like there's going to be some bodies coming in and out here. Well, I think that uh, that's something that uh, will play out eventually, but I think that uh, as of right now, we got to uh, really focus on who is here and, and uh, do our best uh, uh, to, uh, to get the best out of the training camp. Uh, we believe that uh, uh, you know, Brandon and uh, Charlie will be uh, here uh, at the beginning of the season. But, you know, uh, anything can happen. And uh, I think that right now we just got to uh, go as it is. Any clarity for you as far as how you're going to handle it with coming back from the surgeries and how you're going to handle camp? Uh, so right now I'm, uh, I'm basically part of the, uh, all of the drills. Um, uh, you know, uh, I don't think I'll be playing first few games. Uh, uh, that's probably... Uh, something that uh, we have to talk about uh, what's going to be after um, and I think that uh, you know with the uh, uh, less games than in previous years uh, definitely uh, I think most of uh, uh, guys that uh, played uh, uh, all of it to the way to the finals uh, won't see probably many of those games so but uh, again it's something that uh, coaching staff and management has to uh, decide is it when you say missing some of the early games? Are you talking about exhibition or regular season? Oh, uh, exhibition. Exhibition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think you'll be ready to go by regular season? I, I believe so. Uh, you know, as of right now, I think that it feels feels uh, uh, you know pretty good. It, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, again tomorrow and next day, and and uh, uh, my goal is to uh, keep getting stronger and, and uh, feeling better. I imagine you had to alter what you did in the off season because of the surgery stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, you have few procedures done, so uh, you know whether I liked it or not. Uh, I had to take some <laughs> some time off, and uh, uh, that definitely, with the uh, extended time that we were playing, uh, pushed me all the way to almost the mid July. So uh, yeah, definitely it was a shorter uh, uh, off season. Yeah. Because typically, what you've said in the years past is you, you alter things anyway. Yeah, I do. I do. But uh, also, I like to get going right away. And which, uh, in this case, or this summer, was not uh, obviously possible. Z, uh, Bruce, the other day, when he was, you know, they announced his extension there, he was just talking about how important you and Bergie were to him when he got hired midway through the season and just making that transition easier. Can you just think back to that and what that period was like for you guys? Oh, I think that uh, uh, you know, uh, it's it's never easy to to get that uh, uh, that position, the job in the midpoint of the season. You 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 kind of like have to make quick quick uh, transition, and uh, it's it's challenging. And uh, I think Bruce did a uh, really an amazing job to you know uh, tra make some tr trans transport transportations from from the old system to newer newer system. Uh, you know, he implemented some new things uh, into our system, uh, you know, uh, more suitable to, to the game that's played uh, uh, now. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, uh, it, the extension is well deserved. He, he had uh, uh, very, very uh, uh, strong uh, uh, seasons. Uh, you know, I think that the team is uh, uh, playing really well uh, under his command. And uh, guys responding well, so you know I think that the whole team, speaking for the whole team, I think we are very happy for him. How good has that relationship been um, between you and him, and then sort of you and Bergy and those guys sort of passing it down to the younger guys, sort of as a conduit, so to speak? Well, I think that communication is uh, is the key. You know, you gotta have an open uh, open lines, and uh, you gotta be always uh, willing to uh, 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 listen at the same time. Uh, uh, be uh, be very clear what uh, what you expect from uh, from the team from certain players, uh, but I think that uh, in any kind of relationship, I think that uh, um, you know you have to be able to uh, communicate, respect respect each other, and and be on the same same mission. And uh, uh, I think that's always been uh, 
uh, key uh, uh, on this team. How has the hitting game changed in the back end, like in your time here? You know, you look at the guys who have led hits on back end. It's you, it's sides, it's Boychuk. Is, is the speed game being ratcheted up change that? Uh, I think that there is still uh, room to, to, to make hits and, and make, uh, you know, uh, the, the physical part or, or, you know, a big part of the game. But, but I think that... Uh, all is, or, or you know, lately or last few years, the puck is the key. You know, I think you gotta play the puck first. I mean, play it to it's, move. It. It's a, it's it's always nice to finish checks and and uh, make a big big splash yeah. hits. But uh, I think uh, to to be able to uh, prevent the pass going through you or 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 stopping the play uh, with your stick, uh, yeah. having your stick on other guy's stick. Uh, I think it's uh, it's it's more effective or, or valuable in these these new games than than going out there making a big hit, but the puck still goes through and right. somebody else pick it, picks it up and, and makes a play. So, so priority is stop the play. Yeah, priority now it's uh, just you know the, the puck is the key. I think that uh, you know in the, you know really I, it's hard to compare those times when guys were going and, and being told, hey, finish the check. Right. Finish the check. That's your job. Don't worry about the puck. Right. But now it's it's a little bit different. You know, you gotta you gotta play the puck first. I think it's a it's a, it's the key. It's number one right now uh, to play the puck. And then if there's a room to add to that and, and finish the guy and, and make yeah. a you know eliminate him with a good uh, body position or finishing check, that's when you do it. But uh, game is too fast now. Just be chasing hits and and. Uh, Going all over the place, and the puck is just the fastest player out there. So you gotta, you gotta take care of the puck yeah. first. Yeah. And the priority in terms of repossess it, move it. Possession, right? puck possession. possession. Yeah. I mm -hmm. mean, nobody wants to give it up. Um, you know, once you have it, you wanna, uh, you know, make a play. You wanna control and 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 uh, keep 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 having the control of the game by having pucks on your uh, on your sticks or or basically putting the opposition in a situations that are very tough to make plays or, or kind of low percentage of success going to the net or shots in the net or, and so on. Do you miss the big smack? Oh, so of course, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's always fun to, to battle. It's, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's been always part of my game. Right. Uh, that became there's always, like I said, there's always room. There's always, yeah. you know, uh, 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 you know, Parts of the game that hey, uh, you know, there's a good hit. There's you know, you took a big hit, you give a reverse hit or, or something, right? Uh, but but I think that right now the game is so focused on where's the puck? Do we have a puck? You know, we want to play the puck. We want to make a play. You know, it's it's all about the puck. So you gotta realize that uh, um, you know you 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 gotta you gotta accept that that it's it's a puck puck control puck possession game now. And it's fast. It's 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 uh, it's quick, and uh, um, a lot of times when you want to just go for the hit, and you know, with these days, you know, like guys are so shifty that you might get his head, his neck, instead of you know, you you are not trying to, you you're really going for a clean hit, but because they are so shifty and smaller and quick, and you might actually get them in the wrong part of their body, and you end up being basically penalized or possibly suspension suspended, and. Uh, so you gotta be almost 100% sure that it's gonna be well connected and in the right place. And, and before you know uh, you do it, you gotta make sure the puck is kind of in your control or in your possession. Last one. What what is ResTech? It's a it's a company. It's a it's a tape uh, company that uh, has been uh, uh, used by a few NHL guys uh, on the, on, the, on the sticks. Uh, so, okay. so you, you I thought it was your, it might be your version of TB12. Uh, oh, <laughs> I, no. <laughs>